Hi, everyone. Welcome to Trucking Sustainably. I'm your host, Jason Morgan. We are in Dublin, Virginia, back at the Volvo Trucks North America Customer Center. We are talking HVO, hydro-treated vegetable oil fuel. What is it? I don't really know, but they're filling every truck down the line here at the New River Valley plant. I've got my safety vest on. I've got my steel-toed boots on. We're going to go into the plant, get a look at the fueling process, and catch up with Johan Agabron, Director of Product Marketing, who's going to walk us through the HVO specifics, how it relates to decarbonization, and what it means to sustainability as a whole. Let's head in. Johan, always fantastic to see you. Thanks always for good taking to see you. Time. We're at the New River Valley plant a $400 million investment here to support mm -hmm. the new V. Now, one of the interesting bullet points, though, is you are filling, right? even right now, every truck going down the line, you're filling with hydro-treated vegetable oil, HVO. Correct. What is, I mean, is this biodiesel by another name? What is this? Kind of, to some extent. So usually when we talk about biodiesel, biodiesel is, is produced through a transfer esterification okay. process. So you add, you mix in methanol and stuff. And with that, there are some consequences that comes with what we talk about pure biodiesel. So when people say B100, yes. according to ASTM standard, yes. there are most of the time things that goes into that. So hydro-treated vegetable oil is, um, the molecule is very identical to real or regular diesel. It's a synthetic produced diesel, okay. but by biofuels as well. Okay. So it's very um, beneficial from that way. So it has the same benefits as biodiesel when it comes to um, the decarbonization from reusing materials, right? So okay. again, biodiesel and uh, HVO, when we use them in the truck, the truck produces the same emissions, but you get the decarbonization for the, from the whole life cycle of right. the fuel. And that's the real benefits of using it. HVO also had then the benefits that it doesn't impact the engine in any way okay. versus, versus regular diesel. It's the, the, the engine doesn't know a difference. It's the same stuff that basically goes in. Okay, that's true. And is that, I mean, is that a recent development in engine technology? Is that a recent development on the, on the fuel side? Like what gives you the confidence to know that and be able to fill every truck coming off the line? With it's it? really how the, the HVO is produced. Okay. So it's produced by a hydro-treated process. So to very simplify, very much like you refine oil mm -hmm. and you have different layers mm -hmm. and you produce it with in, in those kind of systems, you do the same with uh, producing renewable diesel or HVO. So HVO is just one of the renewable diesels that exists out there that are fully synthetic. I see. Well, and going back to it, I know you and I have touched on it before when we've just been chatting, but uh, in terms of that, that decarbonization effect, you mentioned the whole life cycle. We're talking well to wheel now Correct. because the emissions coming out of these are similar to just when you use regular diesel. Yeah. But it's that process of, okay, how it's created and then how it's used, that's where you get the new Right, Sim similar benefits like when we talk uh, a lot of the natural gas. The main components for decarbonization with natural gas, or if you would use that kind of fuel, would also come oh, from see. the well to wheel aspects and that it's being RNG that you're fueling. I see. The, the vehicle and the engine still produces some kind of emissions. It's a little bit lower CO2 when it comes to natural gas, the way the combustion works. Sure. But uh, um, for for the engine and such, but overall, it's the um, it's the life cycle uh, benefits that you get, and and it's really something we can do today. We don't have to wait for tomorrow. Right. It, you can do it right now. Right. Well, and that's an interesting uh, parallel because we have been hearing more about natural gas, but this is that same kind of decarbonization value prop through the diesel and renewable diesel. Yes. Channel, and you, something you can do right now. You can do it right now. It doesn't affect warranty. It doesn't affect performance. doesn't affect uh, really Maintenance anything. Schedules, Maintenance schedules. Maintenance schedules, nothing. Good. And That's you're awesome. all good. That's awesome. Well, you're filling every truck coming down the line here and the numbers that have been put out that so annually approximately 1,125,000 gallons a year. Mm-hmm with an estimated 75% to 85% CO2 reduction. Again, that, that life cycle. On the life the cycle, yeah. What does that mean to, to Volvo then, and how does that impact your sustainability efforts? Well, I mean, it's us and what we want to create for the world, right? So it's, it's, um, 
it's really big. We have our targets to to reduce um, by 2030, 2040, and 2050, and also our. So we've we've said that you know we're going to have fully zero emission vehicles by certain time periods uh, to to be able to sell. And it's really for us our commitment to the Paris Accords and what we feel that we need to do as a. Uh, uh, as an employer and, and, and a company in, the, in, in this society. Mm -hmm. Right, and one of those components, I'm, I think this is scope one, right? You're this using scope, some yeah, decarbonization. Because this is our own, our own uh, usage, so to speak, and you have scope two and three that we're also working on, and we're also asking suppliers to do similar things if yeah. they can, and we're working on many other things you've seen probably in uh, uh, press releases from Europe and on uh, uh, non-carbon steel and mm -hmm. things like this yeah. that is also being worked on. So we, we truly are committed to this and uh, going forward. And we have been, you know, our CEO uh, in the 1970s when the first climate convention was out there, or UN had the first climate convention. He said, right. uh, we know we're, we're a part of the problem, but we're determined to be a part of the solution. And that's really lives with every employee at Volvo. Yeah, well, I love the HVO because I think that's a solution that you can put in place today, right? We're not Absolutely. waiting to see how Let's this pans wait. out, but we can do it right now. We do it right now. Perfect. Johan, thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it. Thank you.